say that I made it. I have a college degree, you know, um, taking advantage of this opportunity, like, you know, not very many people can say that, you know, they run track professionally. That's, you know, they're actually living out their dreams. Most people shy away from that. It's just like, okay, well, you know, I don't see myself actually, I don't see myself doing that or, you know, this is impossible to do. So, you know, I'll just settle for less and that's not something that I've been raised to do, something that I believe in, so. Not too long ago, former Indianapolis man moved across country to Phoenix, Arizona to pursue his dream as an Olympian. Today, we sit down with John Broden to hear his story and how he plans to achieve those goals. Well, John graduated from Indiana Tech. That's in Fort Wayne, Indiana. His hometown is Indianapolis. Uh, for Indiana Tech, he ran the 100 and 200 meters. And now this is his first year coming to Altus in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, I haven't known John for super long just yet, only a couple weeks. Um, so I'm still kind of getting to know him and getting to understand what makes him tick. Uh, but, you know, he's been in track for a long time, so he's a quality athlete. Starting to see him move on the track, he possesses a lot of the skills and the qualities that we're looking for from a sprinter. And, you know, he's you want somebody who's committed to what they're doing and when somebody moves from across the country away from their family to a new environment to become better at what they do uh, that's people that we're excited about okay so the first question I have for you is just to simply describe yourself using three words um, three words I'll use to describe myself would be humble energetic and determined nice. those are all good three things to have right. um, so you're a sprinter Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of talk to us about what got you interested in that. Um, well, there's a story my mom, she always tells me, uh, you know, she's always tells these stories about people who, you know, who ask, you know, stuff about that. Uh, she's always told me, how, like, how I could run before I was able to walk as a child. So, just growing up, I ran everywhere I went, and I was, you know, my parents, they were like, oh, he's fast, look. So, um, I remember times when I would, like, race my dad in the stores in the parking lot, and, like, I don't know, it's just a funny story about my mom, she would say like the rule was no running. Mm -hmm. And so she like she'd ask me, John, now before we go in the store, like what's what's the rule? I said, no running, mom. So as I get out of the car, I take off running. So that was <laughs> that's just one it's a funny story. So I mean it's just something that it's always been a part of me and right. you know, something I would just love to do. Now, uh, I kind of want to talk to you about how do you get prepared. I know you come to uh, your training and you said that you're here a specific time, certain days of the week. Just kind of talk to us about that. Um, we train here at Altus. Um, Altus, they're an elite um, world-class training environment. We're basically training for to make U.S. national teams, world championship teams, the Olympics, things along that line. Um, Preparation is really just like it's one thing I've learned from college. Uh, Cause you know, getting in college, I used to always want to be real hyped up, listening to music, you know, energetic, going to the races, and it's just like, you know, I end up over like hyping myself up a little bit too much, so that would like <laughs> hinder my performances. But mm -hmm. learning from mistakes and you know different national championships, I've learned to be a lot more mellow, a lot more calm going into the races, not thinking about you know, so much about running and winning your race, but focusing on being, you know, just calm, not thinking about it, you know, just whatever happens, happens, and trying to run your best that day. Uh, this is something that we, I'm definitely new to. Uh, we train Monday through Saturday, so six days a week. Practices normally last between four to six hours, so it's a lot on my body, so, I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting used to it this being my third week being out here, so. I'm definitely looking forward to what we're what I'm able to do later on in the season. Fantastic. Okay, so this month's theme for the issue is living by example. Can you talk to us about how you want other people to view you? Uh, I'm not sure. Like, I just I want to set the best example that I can for people who are aspiring to do what I'm doing. Um, you know, being in this position, like I never thought like I would actually be in this position like maybe two, three years ago running, you know, okay times, you know, I progressed during the years, but for people who are aspiring to do what I do and run professionally, I would just say like, you know, follow your dream because that's something that I've had an opportunity to do and I'm taking full advantage of it now. So I'm, I'm very humble and very thankful that I'm able to, you know, express my, my talent and work on it and perfect it. 
Yeah. Definitely. Let's talk about your move because I know you moved across the country. Um, talk to us about where did you move from and uh, let's talk about um, what does it mean? It's a life changing thing to you. People, a lot of people helping me out. I'm very thankful for, for that too. So, I mean, it took a lot to come out here. I had to leave every, basically everything that I, you know, everything I've known my whole life and just move out, take that leap of faith. So I'm happy with the, with the decision I've made so far. Okay, we talked to your coach, um, Dustin, mm -hmm. and he talked to us um, how he contacted you and was talking to the other coaches and stuff. Talk to us about, take us to that day when you received that news. How did you feel? I felt relieved. Like, it was just like, I can't believe this is happening. Like, you know, once, once they were talking to us, we went through the whole um, the whole interview process and I immediately called my, my teammate Harris. I was just like, Harris, we got in, we got in. So <laughs> it, was, it was an exciting moment. It's just like, okay, so now we got to get all this money together. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to, you know, find a place to stay. How are we going to do all this stuff? So it was a very surreal moment. And I don't, I have, it hasn't quite hit me yet, but, um, I'm very excited, so. Who is someone in your life that you look up to? Um, there's a couple people I look up to. Um, one person would be my father. Uh, he works hard, he's the hardest person, you know, hardest working person that I know. He does everything from play drums at his church, drum lessons, he's got, he's in like several different like music, musical bands he plays, plays the drums. Uh, has a full-time job as well. I need to like pretty much just put everything, put my brother and I through college. There's my mother. She, you know, she's she's been there for us our entire life. Mm -hmm. she, you know, instilled still Christian faith into us and making sure that we're on the right path. There's my younger brother who I look up to. It would, in a weird kind of way, it's like you know, okay, so you know, I do what I can to show him, you know set a good example for him and stuff that I see him going through I also learn from that as well right yeah that yeah that, I mean good just and to name a few definitely good to have like that family support and that foundation that that background to kind of keep you going and stuff mm -hmm. so that's awesome um the scripture that I you know touches the sits on my heart the most is to, uh, Psalms 37 4 it says delight thyself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart uh, that's something that you know just reading that it's like wow like that really is something that you know that's true being I don't know being a Christian man is like okay well I, if I really focus on you know his teachings and focus on the Bible then you know there's no telling what can happen for me you know they say God's God's plan is bigger than anything you could ever imagine or bigger than your your own plan so right. um, I'm trying my best to Stay follow, on the right path. Yeah, stay on the right <laughs> path and, you know, follow everything just to see what he has for me. You know. Awesome. Fantastic. Now, this is going to be a long path for you, and I know that a lot of people are probably following and keeping up with you. So, for our readers and our viewers, what are some ways that they can keep in contact and follow your path? Um, one, one main uh, platform that they can use is Facebook. Um, I'm John Broaden on there. I have a GoFundMe page for people who want to donate and support, you know, support the dream. Uh, I have Instagram. There's John Broaden on there too. Um, I have Snapchat. I think it's handsome dot John. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm also starting up a fan book page, um, a fan page on Facebook. Uh, you can Google me. <laughs> so, you nice. Know, there are a lot of people who, you know, who didn't know who I was. Like, yeah, I Googled you, so I see who you are. This, you know, I'm proud of you for, you know, chasing your dreams. Just, you know, you have an amazing opportunity out there to do, you know. So. Some great, great things. Mm -hmm. Great things. Okay, so talk to us. Where do you see yourself next? You're, you're here. You're training. In the next three, four years, where do you see yourself? Hopefully I'm standing on the podium at the Olympics in 2020, but um, for the way I see it, I just take, you know, I take it one day at a time. So, you know, just doing, doing what I've always done and that's working hard every day, making sure that I'm taking care of my body, eating right, things along that line. Um, if track doesn't work out, then it's, you know, I'll see what the Lord has next for me. And this is definitely an awesome, awesome opportunity for you. And it's definitely a blessing that you're able to live out your dreams. So um, for our last question, is there anything that you would like to leave with our readers and our viewers? Um, anything is possible. 
when you focus on when you focus on God and you try to live right, you know, God sees your effort. Mm -hmm. When he sees that you're trying to live right, follow his word, you know, be a good Christian, then you know, there's no telling what he has, you know, what he has for you. Fantastic. Well, I just want to say thank you on behalf of Auto Magazine for your time and just allowing us a little time into your life so we can learn more about you. Absolutely. We look forward to see where you're going to go in the next, you know, three, four years. Mm -hmm. And I know you'll be on that field standing strong. So we say thank you again and we look forward to completing the rest of the issue with you. So in two, three and four years time, uh, I think he's going to be one of the true contenders.